So exactly one year ago today, I started learning code and it has been one of the greatest decisions I have ever made in my life. You're probably watching this maybe because you're considering tech as a career or you've just started learning how to code. And obviously this is my own perspective, but speaking after a year, it has been one of the best decisions of my life. Prior to learning code, I didn't really have many skills. You know, my biggest achievement, you could say, was getting in shape and having like a fitness business and playing a lot of video games. Like that was <laughs> that was my greatest achievements. But um, after, you know, after deciding to get into programming and teach it to myself via online, you know, YouTube and and platforms like Code Academy and Free Code Camp, I am grateful like every single day that I just I suffered and I pursued coding as a career now I say that because right now you know I'm able to get high paying jobs from companies because I can build full stack applications in addition uh, I can start businesses and I'm currently doing YouTube so what coding has done for me was not only provide me with a safe gate for, you know, a higher paying job by allowing me to have these higher paying jobs. But it has also allowed me to avoid paying developers tens of thousands of dollars for applications that I want to build. You know, prior to learning code, I always wanted to make applications and I wanted to start a software company. And prior to that, I would have to pay software developers for that and I had to put my trust in software developers so that they could build the applications that I wanted. However, now I can simply build my own applications, which I have done, and I could sell based off that and I can spend that money elsewhere. So as you as you can see, right, like it was a really safe investment for me because now I could simply just do my own applications, save that money and build things that I truly want. So it's been a real positive on that note. Um, and I know some of you right now are probably going to say like, AI is going to replace programmers. You know, there's probably someone that's going to comment that. And what I will say to that person that's commenting that you've given up, you, you've given up on code. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. You are banking that AI in the future will replace or get so good that it will replace programmers. And you know, I, I was on that boat for a bit when coding was a little hard. So I understand where you're coming from. But you know, if you're a little worried if AI is gonna replace programmers or if you're like brand new and, and you know, you're getting into code, don't worry. I, I don't understand why we're so worried that AI will replace like all programmers. If you're asking me if AI will, will replace some programmers in the future, yes, okay, I, I think that's the case. But the fact that it will replace these engineers and, and true programmers who can actually build applications and understand theory like, like data structures, algorithms, and they can build complex applications, there's no way in hell that those people will be replaced simply because their job is too complicated and AI will only provide them with a, a boost to what they're already building. So, you know, I, I know we went on a little side tangent here, but right now, you know, I'm in a position where I'm, I'm just trying to explain to you, like, you know, don't worry. That's it. Okay. Just don't worry if AI is going to be this thing. There's, there's a lot of worry and I've had a lot of questions about that. Don't worry. Okay. Learn to code, keep going down this path. Just try to be the best programmer you can be, even if AI will or will not. You should just simply try to be the best programmer you can be. You know, I'm only a year in and like that's basically considered like still a beginner at, at programming. But right now I've been able to make applications and I'm still in a position where I still have to learn constantly every day and constantly try to improve on what I did the last day because I want to be a, a, as good as a programmer as I could be, as good of an engineer that I could be so that... I can build more things, make more money, obviously, because we all want to make some sort of money and build applications that will actually help the world. So I hope this video clarified uh, a decision on whether or not you, you want to learn code or sort of like, you know, scratch your back, if that's even the right word on like the decision. Don't worry if AI is going to replace you. Just be the best programmer you can be. And again, you know, if you're brand new, just know that 
learning to code, although it's very difficult, has been, I think it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. You don't know my life before, before code. Like I had nothing going for me, not one thing. And coding was the first thing that allowed me to kind of express myself in a creative way. It allowed me to create like creatively and with my hard work, it showed that I could truly work hard and achieve something. And I'm very grateful, you know, that we live in a time where, you know, we can learn this stuff online. So we should, we should really, you know, take advantage of what we have. So as per usual, you know, pursue this thing. All right. And uh, I love you guys. I'm truly grateful for every single one of you. Regardless, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching where, you know, we can talk about more in-depth things or answer your questions or do some code alongs and, you know, I could show you how specific things work like my applications or something you're dealing with, then sign up for the coaching link in the description. And with that said, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. And I hope to see you being a programmer next year. All right. I want to see a bunch of you guys be programmers and pursue this amazing career that we can all go down together. All right, happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.